Well, we're in Hobart, Tasmania. Well, I'm out on tour at the moment. I've done about 20 shows this week, which I really enjoy, you know. It's, it's nice to be out there working hard. Being a guitar player, I've been lucky enough to play on television and tour the country and played in major awards and concerts and so on. But when I go to schools, it's more than just the guitar playing. It's, it's about giving the values and messages that help to inspire them, you know. Thank you, boys and girls. I'm legally blind. The problem with my eyes is called retinitis pigmentosa, RP. I don't come there with bells and whistles and PowerPoint presentations. It's just down to earth, grassroots, what success in life is all about. It's just those simple messages, respect, kindness, inclusion, you know, all those sorts of things that we talk about. My wife, Lisa, she's a beautiful lady. I had this idea of what I thought a wonderful wife would be, and she's just that and, and so much more. My four children are just wonderful kids, and uh, sometimes, you know, they used to be a little concerned that their dad was blind and so on, but now I think they're really quite proud of their dad as well, and it's nice to see, you know, that my, my kids are, look up to me as much as I looked up to my own father. Just a year ago, my brother Dean and I actually rode push bikes all the way across Australia, from Perth over in the west, all the way over to the Sydney Opera House, which everyone knows. My brother Dean is also blind. He has the same hereditary disease. My initial inspiration for the ride was just to fulfil a life dream. It's 4,100 kilometres, it's like 2,600 miles across the country. Dean and I didn't really get to see much of it, but, but we certainly heard it and, and felt it and smelt it, and it's a beautiful country. It's a pretty painful experience. And one of the greatest challenges I realised was just purely that mental fatigue, that capacity to just keep focused mentally, you know. But, you know, when we arrived in Sydney, it was just a a real hero's welcome. It was just a beautiful day on Sydney Harbour. I feel that through adversity, I've come to understand firstly who I am, but more importantly, I've come to understand who God is. I believe that God knows and loves me unconditionally. And that really inspires me to keep working at my adversity. And if being blind helps me to inspire other people, then I really consider blindness to be an actual strength. I love playing guitar. I love life, really, but I think most of all, I love being a dad. I love my wife, Lisa, too. She's awesome. My name is Lauren Nicholson. I'm a Mormon.